So welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to recreate this cool scroll animation using Figma. Before we dive into the tutorial, it's important to grasp the challenge we're tackling. In this tutorial, we're dealing with three distinct components, and we'll tackle each of them step by step. In the initial stage, we'll focus on creating the core element. Then, we'll move on to the text arc part. Finally, we'll work on the scrolling text part. To make our job easier, we'll be utilizing some handy plugins along the way. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and get started. All right, we're going to start by adding an ellipse to our design. The first ellipse should have a width and height of 10 pixels. Add a stroke to it. Next, we're going to duplicate this ellipse and increase its size to 22 pixels. Great. Now, let's continue the pattern. The next ellipse should be 36 pixels. Followed by one at 50 pixels. And then 64 pixels. Finally, the last ellipse should be 80 pixels. But here's a twist. Lower the opacity of that last ellipse to give it a nice fading effect. Now let's duplicate the entire frame. In this duplicated frame, increase the size of the last ellipse to 100 pixels and set its opacity to zero. This will make it disappear in the second frame. Remember the second to last ellipse we made earlier at 64 pixels? In this second frame, Adjust its size to 80 pixels. Repeat this process for all the other ellipses in the second frame to maintain the size progression. Now, it's time to add a prototype to it. To create a loop, connect the second frame back to the first frame. Let's test it out. Looks like it's working just as expected. Now, let's convert this into a GIF. To do this, we'll use the Lottie Files plugin. Navigate to Export to Lottie and select your desired flow. Choose the Insert as GF. Let's test the GF file to make sure it's working smoothly. Perfect, it looks great. Lastly, since we don't need this frame anymore, we can delete it. Now let's move on to creating our text arc part. So, let's add our text. We're going to use a plugin to give it that eye-catching arc shape. Set the curvature to 70% and hit the apply button. Voila! Your text has now transformed into a beautiful arc. Let's add a background to our text. Select both the text and the background and with a quick click, convert them into a frame. Now, to make it animated, we're going to use the Jitter plugin to make it do a full 360 degree rotation. Select the frame and let's dive into the Jitter. Now select the text element and click on Animate. Opt for the rotation animation and add a full 360 degrees. To ensure our animation loops seamlessly, don't forget to enable the loop option and set the easing to none. Fantastic. It's looking just the way we want it to. 
Now export it as a Lottie Files animation and download the file. Back in Figma, open up the Lottie Files plugin. Navigate to Import and import that file. Now select Insert as GIF. Let's test it out. And as you can see, it's working like a charm. Now you can delete this frame as we no longer need it. With that done, we're all set for the final step. Let's add our text and make it bigger so it stands out. Now, resize both the GIF files we created earlier. and group them together for better organization. Place these GIFs alongside our text. Now, Select all these elements and convert them into a frame. This will help us manage everything neatly. Resizing time. Adjust the frame to match the width of a desktop screen. Move all the elements within the frame accordingly. Let's bring in a handy ruler for reference. It'll keep things aligned. Duplicate the frame and move all the elements. In this new frame, set the duplicated text as the starting point. Ensure that their positions match up. Select both frames and convert them into a component set. This makes managing our design a breeze. Now let's add a prototype to it. Connect the last frame to the first frame to create a looping effect. It's that simple. And there you have it, we're almost there. Drag the component onto the mainframe and let's test it out. As you can see, it's working flawlessly. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and share your thoughts about it. I love hearing from you and your feedback helps me to create more valuable content for you. That's it for now. We go back and forth every time Waiting for one of us to cross the line You got me and I can't